on the north shore of the beautiful island of Maui, just overlooking the cliffs of Ua Ua Bay, is a pool just as cool as its scenic view. Homeowners John and Rena Beyer chose to build their Hawaiian paradise in the small town of Haiku on the very edge of the Hana Rainforest. The inspiration for this pool came from the main water feature, the ocean. Like I said, this is where the humpback whales come in and usually birth their babies, teach them how to breach and swim. Not wanting to detract from the breathtaking view of the bay, Rena decided to cut her pool into the side of the mountain. She included waterfalls, hideaways, and even a water slide for the kids. But only the cascading waterfalls and spa can be seen from the top lanai. There's been a few people that we've had come and they stand here thinking that where this wall is and these rocks are is really the end of the property. And then of course we walk down the stairs and it's always, ah. Once you make your way down to the lower lanai, we encounter the first waterfall at the edge of the buyer's own private beach entry. Lovingly dubbed Mermaid's Cove, the centerpiece statue is the protector against the great force of the ocean as it blows over the cliffs. This hidden cove started as an old pineapple farm, but Rena pictured a beautiful landscaping project that would take two years to become reality. Although the entire project was man-made, Rena wanted every feature to feel as though it was natural, as if it was native to Hawaii. A project well suited for local pool designer, Kyle Peak. When we uh, first got to this project, basically it was dirt. It used to be a pineapple field, and we basically had to move thousands of yards of dirt and create the oasis that you see here now. The back wall of the pool was a feat all its own. All of the rock used to landscape the pool is actually man-made, which allowed Rena the flexibility to customize her pool however she wanted. There's not one real rock on this project. The naturalness that you have to try to achieve on a project like this really is paramount. And that's quite an artistry in itself to do. And there's actually, there's very few people around that can do that type of work. Even the elevation changes of the pool were modeled after the ocean. People ask all the time, is the middle of the pool a different color than the deep end or the shallow end? It's the same texture all the way through, the same color all the way through. But as the water transitions deeper, just like an ocean, it changes the water. Rena says her favorite feature would have to be the form-fitted backrest she created at the top of the rocks, a place she often sits with her husband to watch the whales. John says, when I can't find you, I know where you are. And I'm usually sitting on the top of that rock, watching the ocean, or the sky, or the rainbows. Not only do the buyers have a tropical oasis during the day, but once the sun goes down, it transforms into a romantic Hawaiian escape. The wind is fierce here, and so instead of having a pit that would come out of the ground and be constantly battling the wind, I decided that I wanted to do something underground to create an, a little amphitheater effect. To add to their underground fire pit, Rena has also installed handmade tiki torches throughout the property. By embracing all of the natural elements, earth, wind, fire, and water, Rena has truly created her own little piece of Hawaiian heaven. The idea was to create that sense of serenity, the sense of peace, welcoming you to my home, and I really believe that I've achieved that here.